What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time to jump back into Bee Swamp Simulator and today as we speak is currently the Easter weekend. Yes, I know what you're thinking. There is a very very large beesmus shaped elephant in the room. What is happening with the update? Are we gonna get one? Are we not gonna get one? Well here's the thing. A few days ago something happened. We need to talk about it because I think it gives us a really big clue as to what is going to happen with Bee Swarm and Beesmus. Yeah, let's talk about it. Should we do it? I think it's time. And in three, two, one, claim the hive. Yes, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you are all doing amazing. So uh, yeah, just before we get started, today's episode is actually a really special one because I've partnered up with a charity called United24. And today I'm proud to tell you all about Mindsalt. The United24 fundraising platform has officially launched Mindsalt and are inviting you to be some of the first players in the world to come and experience Experience it along with your chance to win some huge prizes for taking part. Mine Salt is based on the legendary Ukrainian salt mines of Soldar and have been recreated in stunning detail over in Minecraft. Original plans for the mines were sadly lost, so this build had to be achieved using the memories of the previous miners who worked there. There are 16 real life locations carefully created for you to go and experience, and here's the challenge there is also a speedrun along with a quiz for you to collect points. Points mean prizes, and your total could win you an Xbox Series X. 50 to 100 dollar twitch gift cards or even some salt from the actual mines hand signed by the president of ukraine himself this is a really cool service so please do go and take a visit the ip is on the screen and below in the description and also please be quick as it's only here to visit for a short amount of time the server as well as providing us with this unique experience and prizes has also been built with a charitable focus and the goal is to rebuild a school located a few hours away from the mines which was sadly destroyed by russian missiles raising the funds would mean 200 150 kids can go back to school and continue to learn, which would be incredible. So if you can spare anything, please do donate to the project. You'll find the links below, and if you do, you also get entered into a raffle to win some more prizes for supporting this great course. So yeah, jump on Minecraft, head to the server, and enjoy your visit to Minesalt. And there we have it. So what did you guys think? It's a really, really cool server, actually. Um, in case you didn't know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Minecraft in a Roblox video. But um, yeah, Minecraft was a huge part of my channel uh, for many, many, many years. I love the game to bits. I do miss it an awful lot, too. Shout out Shady Oaks crew. Um, but yeah, please do go and check it out. Go and take a visit. It would mean a lot to me and it would mean a lot to the charity as well. Go and take a little look around, sort of you know, click on all the NPCs and follow the journey. Uh, it's something a little bit different, but I think it's really, really cool. Something to do over the Easter weekend while of course <laughs> we wait for some kind of beesmus information anyway speaking of beesmus should we talk about it? I think we should. Very quick mushroom of hype today. Um, thank you so much for being here, of course. I don't know what to set. Should we try and go for 1,500 likes, please? That'd be amazing. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you have a, a really nice weekend, whatever you're doing. Yeah, let's try and go for 1.5k. Beesmus. All right. So I like to think that over the course of all of this, with the updates and all the various things, I like to think that I've been pretty optimistic, you know? But even <laughs> the most optimistic people in the world can sometimes sort of start to feel like, mm, maybe things aren't going to happen happen the way that you would like them to do. So, of course, as of right now, we still haven't had any official information from on it whatsoever. Um, I did reach out to him privately. I not yet got a response to that, uh, which is okay. That's kind of just how on it does things. But um, the only two things that we've heard of from him so far, we basically had the two codes, um, the latest one being the Bee Swarm Simulator six year code. Now, the Discord is, oh geez, <laughs> the Discord is still locked down, um, which is a little bit strange. We'll talk about that later and the only way that on it has actually said anything recently is via the bee swarm simulated group in actual roblox which is the announcement of the two different codes now as i mentioned at the beginning of the video something happened recently um which is a bit of a clue to me <laughs> and this is where my optimism slowly starts to uh, to fade because um yeah i don't actually have like a screenshot of the the bit before uh, but on it did change the description of the main game here on the roblox page um, and he's changed the wording. Now, this may not seem like too much of a big deal, but basically, in the description section here, it previously mentioned that the sticker update has come out, and then after that bit of information, it says that Beesmus has no certain release date, uh, but it will come out at some point, or something along those lines. Unfortunately, now, as of like a few days ago, this description section has been changed by Onit, and there is not a single mention of Beesmus now in this writing. So, to be honest with you, with this information, I am thinking that yes, indeed, 
Beesmus is cancelled. I've been kind of like holding off making this kind of video because, you know, I don't like to speculate too much when it comes to things like this. Um, you know, you do sort of wonder, you know, some kind of an official statement or, or something from on it would be the best way to do it. Um, and I always try and, you know, be, be optimistic and positive and, you know, just try and find some kind of like positive energy while people are sort of getting a bit frustrated waiting. Um, but I think, yeah, based off the fact that the information has been changed in the description, I don't think Beesmus is going to happen this year. Year. Actually, funnily enough, I think I might be the only person in the world to have played Beesmus this year. Um, yeah, of course, this is um, sort of one of the Onyx super secret worlds um, that I do have access to. Um, this was one that got updated on the 2nd of Fe no, sorry, the 4th of February. Um, and this is Beesmus, so you can hear the music, um, you can see the NPCs, we can talk to Bee Bear. He says last year's Beesmus, so you know, this is sort of a copy paste from there. So this is when I believe on it did start trying to implement Beesmus. We obviously have the Christmas tree here as well, but I think this is the closest anyone's gonna get. Yeah, it's quite sad. I mean, I think really because it's the Easter weekend, I would say potentially it's now or never. Um, who knows? I'm going to have one last shred of optimism and I'm going to be like, who knows? Maybe uh, Easter Sunday or, you know, Easter Monday or something. Beesmus is just going to drop out of nowhere. But the chances, I think, are very, very slim. Um, so, yeah, once again, it's... Beesmus kind of, it is very much sort of a wintry feel type thing. I know technically on it said this previously says, well, it doesn't need to come out exactly in Christmas, you know, for it to still be a nice festive event. But I think because it is a festive event, it seems kind of weird to be to be playing it even in April or May because it's already getting you know, spring and summertime for a lot of people in the world. So I don't think logically it would make sense. Now, the other question is potentially Beesmus ever going to come back. Now, this is the thing. If you if you remember over the, the Christmas period, on it was basically saying with the sticker update, which of course, like the sticker update, we've got to remember is a brilliant update. And it's, it's really, really good uh, for the game in general. There's a huge amount of content which has already been added. So it's not like we haven't had an update. We have, but we've just become so used to having this Beesmus sort of event um, that I think that's where people's frustrations lie the most because it's such a cool event, you know, with your presents and your shrines and all that kind of stuff. Um, but potentially, have we seen the last of Beesmus? Is Beesmus ever actually going to come back? On it did say that potentially this would be the last Beesmus, and you know any other update will just happen as and when. So yeah, potentially this could be the last, the last look around Beesmus. Look at it, look at it, so snowy. Now we did mention this as well. Uh, you know, part of me was just like, I don't know. Part of me was really, really, really wondering if Beesmus could be adapted. Um, so my sort of hope and my goal, um you know, sort of my, my, my wish, basically, my, my sort of, my wish would have been for Beesmus to have been changed into Beaster. Um, that's really, really what I was hoping. Uh, and of course, we have talked many, many times about the Traveling Bear NPC, which is just a fantastic way to bring an event into the game. Um, I was hoping, to be honest, like, just a little part of me was like, oh, maybe on it's just going to pull a master stroke here and bring out Beaster, which is why I wanted to hold off making this video until the Easter break. You know, these are like four days or whatever of just like kind of very festive themed celebration which would have been the perfect time to release that i think it would have taken a lot of people by surprise but it could have been like this really cool redemption thing unfortunately there's nothing like there's no presence from on it there's been no leaks there's been nothing in the test realm there's been no decals no anything really um so whatever he's been doing is still very much in his private private games so we can't see them unfortunately um yeah, it's a shame. I really do think it's a shame. I think people do really, really love uh, Beesmus, and especially when you've got a game that people love so, so much that just barely ever updates. Um, it's, people have been looking forward to it, and then people are ultimately going to get disappointed. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed to do it. You know, on it's on it's my guy, um, and I'm never going to you know badmouth him or whatever. But I am a bit disappointed that we didn't get the Beesmus update this year. Um, and yeah, I think moving forward, <laughs> let's not announce any kind of events. Let's just do them, I think. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I think very much it's a now or never kind of situation. I'm going to keep keep an eye on things and we're going to see sort of what happens. Of course, like with the B-Swab Simulator Discord still being locked down, that's also kind of a little bit sketchy because <laughs> you can't really tell what's going on there. Like when is it going to 
when is it going to open up? You know, I think Onit just needs to announce one way or another. He needs to just say, there is going to be a Beesmus or there is not going to be a Beesmus. And then if it's a not going to be a Beesmus, then maybe give it a couple of weeks and then unlock the Discord and just let things go back to normal. Um, of course, we have a sticker update and maybe he's working on something completely different for the game. You just don't know. I do think the game will update again, by the way. Um, so I don't think the game is done by any means. Um, but whatever's going to happen next is probably going to happen sometime in the future. So we shall see. We shall wish. We shall wait. We shall dream of Beesmus times past. Oh, the festivities. How we miss them. So yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, that's about it for today. I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to just start playing Beesmus here by myself. Um, <laughs> you do miss the music. I think that's one of the things that uh, you do kind of miss. Uh, but of course, we do also have Mindsort as well. So please do make sure that you go and log in and check it out. As I said, it would mean an awful lot to me uh, if you went and visited it and, and for the charity as well. That'd be really cool for them. They put a lot of effort and energy into trying to create something, um, you know, a little bit different in the Minecraft space. So yeah, make sure you go and take a little look. Fire Minecraft up! And uh, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. So until then, thanks and see ya.